Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I thought I would come on today and just do a very quick little video. Um, making. I wanted to make some tags for my Christmas journal and I wanted to use my the faux memo um, printer and I was using the transparent um, sticker uh, to make and I thought it'd be fun to make sort of a, a transparent um, little window in my tag. So I'm just going to show you how I've done that. It's really, really simple to do. Off you go, Leo. So in order to get, I'm using my two inch hole, two inch punch. Um, and you'll find with these punches, punches often only have a certain amount of distance into whatever you're punching that they can go. And this is, this is literally the distance mine will travel. If you have a punch that you that's free form and you can use it wherever you want, then you can make your your tag thicker. But for this purpose, in order to suit my two inch Fiskars punch, which is a great punch, I have to go um, for a width to center it properly. I have to go for a width of two and three sixteenth wide. So two and three sixteenth wide. So that's what I cut some some um, uh, Christmas cardstock. It's fairly light cardstock. Uh, you could use heavier for sure. And what I do is I cut the hole because I know it's going to fit fine. This is going to be my back uh, piece. And so I'm going to make sure that my back piece is cut like so. And you can see it's, it's centered. And the second one, because I don't know if it's going to be um, I don't want to worry about measuring because <laughs> you know I just make sure that when I punch the hole I punch it a little bit lower on this one so that I can center them together so we've got that punched like so uh, and um, this has got stripe on the inside so I go like that I get myself some I've just cut this from a acetate um, packaging and I'm going to just glue that on there. So I'm just going to I'm just going to use my art glitter glue because I can I think it's going to come out. Dear me. Sometimes you just have to give it a little extra. It's still fighting me. But it's nice to have something with a thin nozzle. It doesn't have to be there, glitter, glitter glue, um, just to get in those narrow areas. And I cut this to the width of my tag. So very simply like so. So you need an acetate uh, background if you want it to be completely see-through because you want <clears throat> your transparent sticker is going to go over top of that. Otherwise, if you just did your transparent sticker, then the back of your piece would be sticky. The back of your um, of the sticker would still wouldn't be adhering to anything in that opening. So there we go. So I'm just going to. I hope I'm in frame. I'm just going to try and center this. I'm going to have to pick this up to do it. Whoops. Just going to try and center that so that I can see most of those ornaments that are hanging. And I'm just sticking that down. Whoops. <laughs> as simple as that. And then with this, this is we're just going to glue this over top and then cut off the excess. So let's see if we are good with the glue this time. So this time I want to gosh, there we go, around it and you can glue all the way to the bottom because remember we made the bottom a little bit smaller but you don't probably don't want to go right to the top but whatever works for you and what you want to do is center it over the circle like so You can see I didn't get it perfectly straight. We got a little bit of time to move that. 
perfect. I just think this makes for a nice little addition to your Christmas journal. I'm just going to cut the excess back here. And you see the image on both sides, which is fun. And then we can cut one corner and then, whoops, turn it over and cut the other side of the corner just so that they're close to being the same size. And then I take a hole punch and just punch it in the center or thereabouts. And that is a quick little tag. I mean, you can decorate it more if you want, shush it up a little, put a little ink around the outside, which I think for a tag is always kind of nice just to define the edges a little bit. Um, and that's it. Cute little tag. This one I just did on plane because I was I was playing. So why don't we try and um, make the other two while we're here. And let me see about this. It's a gorgeous day here today, guys. Just absolutely beautiful. There's a bit of snow down, which is nice. Um, yeah, just lovely. So yeah, for me with this particular punch, the trick is two and three sixteenths to punch it there. And then this one I'm going to punch a little bit lower on this piece, just so that I know I'm going to be good to go. So that's the back. This one has a white interior. And so I'm just going to attempt to put the glue on. Oh my goodness. I thought, oh, I do have another one. Okay. So we're just going to set that down like so. And then choose, I, I printed off a few more stickers. Let's do, try this. I just didn't bother to cut these off between because I knew I was going to use them for a tag project. So let's see if we can get this cute deer on here. Just center it or attempt to in that opening. Isn't that great? So a few folks had, and then I put the glue on this one because we don't need to go farther down. We don't have to. So on my last faux memo um, video, a few people had mentioned uh, they had questions about the length of time that the print would last. Um, on the printer um, after it had been printed, like, you know, was there a, a shelf life to the print? So I've asked the company that question, and as soon as I have some information, I will share it with you in a future video for sure. So we're just going to set that on like so. Gosh, I like that with the snowflakes. That's super cute with the snowflakes. Um, cut that off, cut off the bottom. There may be a simpler way to do this, but I just thought I wanted to do, I wanted some tags for the journal, and this was a good way to do it, I thought. Just cut like so, and then always look for where the the actual cut is where it punches the hole. I know from using this one a lot that it's you know I'm centered now and by the way you could use just a plain uh, backing on these if you want it to write on them. Um, I just wanted it for decorations. Uh, I like actually using the lighter cardstock um, because my Christmas journal is going to have a lot of photos in it. It's actually a Christmas album. And um, this gives me, this isn't going to make it quite as thick, 
Now we've got, let's do the candy cane stripe as well. Since we're here, why not? So that one, and then this one we'll do just a little bit lower, like so. So we're going to turn that over so that we can put our piece of plastic down. And if I were making them, if I wasn't doing a video, I would have done the same step. All the same steps at first, like cut all the holes first, put all this piece of plastic on at the same, you know, in the same step. Um, but for tutorial purposes, it's just fun to do it this way. I think there's a bit of glue on there. Okay, move this out of the way. I put this piece of brown down because I realized on this paper it was hard to see for you all. So let's do this Merry Christmas sticker. The transparent is really fun, I have to say. So that looks pretty centered. On there. And then we're just going to get the glue on here. Oh, I put the glue on the wrong side. Do you know what? That's okay, because we'll put something on there. <laughs> what do they say? Necessity is the mother of invention? Yup. Okay, because we wanted it to be the candy cane stripe. Okay. We can do this. Like so. Lay it flat, flatten it out. And if you're off a little bit, remember I'm on a I'm at a strange angle whenever I do these videos. Um, you can always trim if you're off a little tiny bit. No problem. I like that stripe. So we're just going to cut. And you don't have to put a notch on the top, but I think it's kind of fun. And you could use, um, if you had some Christmas ribbon or something, that might be kind of fun too. Up there at the top. I'm going to put my hole in here. And now, I've got to put something on here where I have the glue. I do have some cutouts, and I had one that was like a leaf. I wonder, that might be kind of good there. Or, oh, that's cute. So, I'm just going to ink around that. There are no mistakes when you're making junk journals. There's just creative opportunities. So I'm just going to set that there. And you could keep the circle coming off the side or I'm going to trim it. I think that looks really cute. And you could put a label on here if you wanted. So these are great. These are meeting I need I have for my journal. Um, they'd be kind of fun to put in a in a um, Christmas card as a uh, bookmark even. You could do use them that way. So apologies for the mess. Um, but this is what we've made very quickly using the um, foam memo stickers, our hole punch, a little bit of acetate and some glue. That's it everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all well. Um, if I don't get a chance to talk to you before uh, the holidays, uh, the, um, then I want to wish you all the very best of the season. I hope you have lots of friends and family around you. Sending you lots of love, and I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Take care, everybody. Bye.